Hey everybody, it's nighttime. Um, we're just getting everything situated. We're about to cook. Let me show y'all. Burner. And we about to make some crab legs. Um, we got a TV that the job gave us. You know, just trying to get everything situated. This is a microwave slash oven. We got the sink. They filled it up. It was, you know, it was frozen. So they had to defrost the water, the old water. But um, this is the refrigerator, you know. So we're going to have, we're going to be able to cook big, 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 big refrigerator. So I'm very thankful, happy, glad that we able to buy food and cook and stuff. We got bread and stuff to cook. But I'm finna get dressed. I'm not dressed. I'm finna get ready for bed. You know, it's been a long day. I'm tired, and we gotta we gonna start driving tomorrow. Get some loaves. Don't excuse my hair. It's coming up. You know, I'm gonna be real raw with y'all. Y'all just gonna see everything in and out. What we got going on. Um, I'm about to take a cowboy. If you don't know what that is, I have a bucket. I put. Let me see. It should be in here. Yes. About to shower with this. Heat the water up in that and take me a cowboy because it's 13 degrees outside and you know, just walking back and forth from, I try to get as close as possible, but all the, the trucks that was like right by the door was filled and then all the other spots is reserved. So this is like the closest I can get. And I'm pretty damn far. And it's cold as shit out by it. So, um, yeah. So I'm about to get undressed. Get my thug feels while I cut the crab legs. Take me a little, a little, a little bathe. And get ready for bed. Because I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving no more tonight. Once I get ready for bed, that is it. I am not leaving. Stay here. Stay here. So, <laughs> I'll check back in tomorrow, or I'm gonna show you how far I am so y'all know, like, bro, it's cold, and I'm not going back and forth, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing that, but alright, bye, y'all, we got a crab legs on a burnt sim burner, oh, don't, don't look at what was over there, um, and we about to eat, I had some over there, y'all should be looking at but we bought for eight. All right. I just want to show y'all that. <laughs> Good morning. So I have been up for like two hours now. And we are literally trying to move everything around. Because this, this area right here is not that big. So. Yesterday. It was really congested up there. But we, you know, organized it. Down here is my stuff that we're trying to. I'm going to put some stuff up there. We found some storages. I don't want to get up there because there's not that much room. But we found some storages in, in like, it's storage back there. So we took, see, see, we got the towels up there. I might take that out and see what I can put in. But then again, I might not. And that right there is also storage. So, trying to figure it out. You know, we got the stuff in the refrigerator. The freezer. The free refrigerator. We're trying to get everything situated so we can cook breakfast. I want to make some grits and eggs for breakfast. Just got to figure this stuff out, man. There, we literally. We are almost there. I just had to make a post for my viewers so y'all can see. And right now we're just waiting for them to send us a load. Um, so while we wait for them to send us a load, we're going to get everything situated, cook breakfast, and then chill until you know they sent us a load we gotta defrost the window let me show y'all the window it's because the, the heat on back here so it's like frozen inside of the cab which it's all right bae you want to say good morning to the viewers he don't like you know being bothered in the morning i guess Oh, oh, he don't want to be on camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He don't want to be on camera, so it's just me. It's just me. But yeah, 
getting situated about to get situated but all right y'all bye hey love bug so update i took my hair out it's dirty it needs to be washed and my neck was hurting yesterday because the way i had my head and it's cold so i tried to put my hair in my um hoodie and it was just too much my neck was hurting like a mofo. I had to turn my whole body to look at Rudolph because my neck was just hurting. And I think it was the way I had my hair and trying to put my hair inside of my hoodie because it was so cold. But we, not we, yeah, we, we got everything situated. So I'm going to show y'all. I got the bed up because I was, I don't want, I'm trying to cook breakfast after Rudolph get the TV up. He put his game in, so after he does that, we can start cooking. It just, it's a small area, so you don't want to, one person over there at a time. So I'm about to show y'all what I, how I organize some of the stuff, because we were going to have to throw away some of our um, storage bins, and it's like, there's no point of doing that when we need the storage bins. So let me get out of the spot that I'm in. That's where I was at. We put up the bed. So we got all our stuff up there. I got one of the stored units right there in there. My jacket, I'm going to be using that today. So one of the bins right there, we were going to have to throw away, but I put it in there. And it's in the other one. I put it right there and I just organized, reorganized that area. But I'm so glad I got my hair out. It's been almost, it's been a while. I got my hair done the week before I went on the cruise. So it's, in, it's been in there for about a month. Not really, maybe three weeks. But like I said, my head was hurting. My neck was hurting. So I had to take it out. I just had to like either you gonna continue to have neck problems or you gonna take it out and just you know sleep on your hair so my hair it crinkly right now because it's been in them twist so hopefully it can last for a while it looked like it got a retwist I don't want to wash it just yet maybe when it start growing out I'll wash it and I'll try to retwist it myself but my retwist I do them like every two months because I have very soft hair and I don't want to let my locks be thin. I want them to be thicker. I don't want to do all that teasing to them. So just came right in here. Got my tri-state gear on. Like I said, they dripped us out yesterday. We got low heat going. The window right there. But it's cold out there. And got blinds. Oh. So this is a nice, a nice cab. I like it. So that's all I want to do a little update. I guess I'll talk to you later. So I am making breakfast. I'm about to show y'all I'm making great today. What's about Ooh, 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 ooh. Excuse me. And we're watching Wakanda. As you wish, princess. Happy Black Friday! No. Happy Black History Month! I gotta edit that out. Happy Black History Month! So y'all, this one I made for breakfast. Sorry. And it's so good. Mmm, it's so good. So I'm gonna finish eating and chill. Hey, love bugs! So we are heading to Alabama. We picked up our first load in Ohio it's like a nine hour drive um I'm about to start making dinner in maybe like 20 minutes because tonight I'm gonna have to drive tonight so I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm gonna take me a nap I'm going to take me a nap 
because I'm gonna have to drive tonight to get there. So hopefully we can get unloaded today. Hopefully we can get unloaded today and tomorrow we can get another load. But we're gonna get down around 11 o'clock. The load is supposed to be doing at, at eight, but we picked it up at two. So we're probably not gonna get there until 11. So hopefully they wanna unload us tonight. But if not, then we'll get unloaded probably first thing in the morning. They'll probably say come back at eight o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning. We'll get unloaded, get loaded for another load, hopefully and be on our merry little way. But I just wanna give an update on today's events. Nothing really happened. We got the first load at 12 o'clock. You know, just figuring everything out. We, we got this new system with the logs and stuff that we gotta, you know, figure out and stuff like that. So Rudolph was doing that, getting checked in, putting on straps, the whole enchilada. So, so far so good. So, um, we about to get on 70, head to Alabama, hopefully it's not cold in Alabama, but I'm pretty sure it is because of that storm that's, it's ice right now in Texas. So, yeah, we shall. But on that note, I'm gonna go because I'm about to start prepping for dinner. I gotta wash the meat or at least rinse it off. And um, put it in the air fryer, season it, put it in the air fryer. Call it a day. All right, bye. Y'all, so I made some chicken. Oh, I made it in the air fryer for 30 minutes. I like mine a little crisp, so I flipped it halfway at 15 and then I let it sit in there for another 10 minutes and that's 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 what you got the curl of crust. And it's really good. So I'm about to eat and I'll see you guys on the flippy. Bye.